today we are headed to see Pearl Harbor. destination is the lovely Waimanalo Beach Park. Off to get some more chocolate ice cream from yet another ice cream place somewhere on this island. This one's called Double Three. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the chocolate. I like that I can eat a bubble at a time. This day has taken a rather unfortunate turn. We went to the store on our way back from getting ice cream and all that good stuff. We were out for the whole day. We stopped by the Poly Highway briefly, just kind of to look at the lookout point. It's very cool. Went to the store, came back, and I couldn't find my wallet. And then I got a text from my credit card company asking if I spent $500 at Target, which of course I did not, which then meant and led to my discovery that my wallet had in fact been stolen. So, you know, all my credit cards, my driver's license, my COVID vaccine card, some cash, some two dollar bills that I've been saving from family for years and years and years are all gone. Um, and I'm gonna go to sleep and deal with this all tomorrow. Well, a little update. So in canceling all of our cards and dealing with my driver's license and all that stuff, we had to file a police report to deal with the driver's license miss, which I, whatever. So then the police showed up, which was interesting. We, can't, we were trying to do it online, but the portal wasn't working. So when we called, they said, we're sending someone over. So then I just spent, you know, five minutes chatting with the police, talking about this. And now my mom and I are going to go check where we, where it was stolen from and just see maybe they tossed the bag. At some point in time right around there they just like toss in the garbage cans we're gonna go poke around a bit see what's what but i'm not hopeful we're gonna go do a short hike up to manoa falls see some waterfalls today very busy because it's the weekend but oh well there's also a really cool like juice smoothie store spot here that i'm excited to try when we get back We came back to the house. I was exhausted. It's been a very long couple of days and I just knocked out pretty much for a few hours. And we had thought about going into Waikiki for dinner to party see some hula dancers, but we might not see those anymore. But we'd had to just go on downtown anyway, see what's what, experience Saturday night in Waikiki. Cause it's also our last yeah, weekend on this island.
but we have arrived at a place called the Tiki Terrace, which is the poolside at the Bamboo Waikiki Hotel. Kind of walking along, looking for places to eat, happened across this one and waltzed on in. So we are currently at this hotel. They have the most adorable pool area. And we're gonna have some dinner and then probably go back on another, yet another hunt for chocolate ice cream somewhere else in Waikiki. beach if for the sense of everybody can do something here. They're surfing, they're boogieboarding, the waves are nice but not too big. They crash right on the shore. The sand is nice and soft. Not to mention there's food and everything literally steps away. You just gotta be willing to deal with the crowds. Today has been a rather slow and quiet day. Really just hung out at the house, had lots of editing to do. And now we've come down to our little beach to watch the sunset. Today I'm headed off to my first day of two days to get my scuba diving certification, so Gotta go, gotta run. Gonna do two, it's like a couple hours in the morning of being in the pool doing stuff with that. And then in the afternoon, we'll go out and do our first two dives. And then tomorrow, it's the same thing. Very, very excited. I just got back from my scuba diving adventure. I didn't record as much as I wanted to today, but tomorrow I will try and bring my GoPro so we'll get some more underwater footage. But it was an experience to be sure. The first part of the day, I was a little nervous, definitely feeling some anxiety, more than I thought I was going to. It's one of those things of when you're underwater and you want, you feel like you need to breathe because you're choking on water, you're swallowing water, your mass fogs up, but you're 30 feet down, you can't just like pop up to the surface and breathe. So your your body is, your fight or flight response is going haywire and you have to just focus and calm down and breathe, which can be a bit of a task when you're kind of panicking. But halfway through I was like, do I really want to keep doing this? Do I just want to go home now, call it quits? But I decided to stick with it and I'm very glad I did because it got, definitely got easier as the day went on and once we actually got into the ocean, because we did a morning pool session, once we got in the ocean in the afternoon, it was easier, surprisingly. And then we did two dives. I saw a turtle. It got super, super close to me. Very, very thrilling. And a bunch of different kinds of fish, eels, all kinds of fun stuff. And then tomorrow I go back for another morning pool session. And then some people just walked up on me for another morning pool session. And then afternoon in the ocean again. diving certification day two ready to go scuba diving day two it was very interesting again i'm exhausted so i'm gonna go to sleep tomorrow we have a slight idea to go and hike diamond head at six in the morning but we'll see if that actually happens if i can you know arise myself and be alive enough to go do another physical activity we shall just wait and see but you know i'm now officially scuba diving certified which means i can dive all over the world kind of by myself which you know you always dive with a buddy but kind of by myself
hiking Diamond Head this morning. It's about, what is it, 8.30, so hopefully it won't be too crowded, but you never know. just the only way to have a pineapple smoothie. And we got lucky and are able to park in the parking lot, which there are very limited spots. Issues. Hopefully I got some good video. snorkeling lots of fun got a little crispy don't know if you can tell a little red and now we're going to watch our last Oahu sunset because tomorrow we leave for the big island mm -hmm. 